I always keep being drawn back to choral music. I'm not actually a singer myself. I don't mind saying that. I never trained as a singer or had singing lessons, but I've always understood how singers sh should sing. And the whole idea that composition is essentially line, it's also pulse, but that's something else. I think this whole investigation of line and shaping of line is nowhere better designed or felt as it is within choral music. I always think line first, though I have always got one eye on the resultant harmony. This is getting down to the nitty gritty of who I am as a composer. And it's not that easy to, um, to simplify it, but that's the best way I can say it. And because of this, I'm always drawn back to choral music. The thing about choral music, of course, is that it is a universal musical idiom. I should think if it were possible to do a survey of every human being that's lived, of course it's not possible, but if it were, uh, who had lived into adulthood, how many of them would have sung? I should think all of them. What I'm saying is every single human being sings. Singing, I sometimes feel, is also like a kind of crying, uh, a calling, a crying, a calling. There are two ways of using words, either spoken, said, spoken, or cried or sung. Singing is as important as it's ever been because if we compose for singers, if we create for singers, we are facilitating a way to draw out of individuals this innate need to be expressive, to cry, to call. Whether it's a call or a cry of anguish or of love or of pain or of desire, I think if we were to preach the benefits of choral music among all sorts of communities, schools, hospitals, old folks' homes, nurseries, not just concert venues, I think the world would be suffering less than it is suffering in all these different ways. This is one of the reasons I feel the desire to write choral music, because I think it's a way of tapping into people at a deeper level than, say, just instrumental music is. Everybody sings, not everybody plays an instrument. You actually have to make a conscious decision. I'm going to have violin lessons. I'm going to, I'm prepared to spend an hour a day for the next five years practicing. Now, singing is something quite different from that because this is the music of the people. This is the music of communities. This is the music of healing. It's the music of therapy. I've taught music for 16 years and I've seen the way a class which is uh, disorderly and unsettled and preoccupied can be brought to attention by all singing at the same time, can be subdued, can make people happy, can make people smile, can stay with people. That shows in itself how special choral music can be. And I want to be part of that. I, I want to be part of that exciting way of reaching people and changing their lives.